What is a great key to making the home successful? Welcome to a Grace Digital presentation. In this video, we will cover the covenant obligations of husbands. Again, this is a mature subject matter, and we pray you remain ever blessed. In this video, we refer to Christian men that are married to both Christian and non-Christian wives, and some men become born again after their marriages. If the husbands accept God's instructions and do them, their homes will be very successful. Number one, love. This is not a cultural topic, but a biblical one. The love responsibility is the ultimate key. Love is the key that a man uses to transform his wife to a glorious woman without a wrinkle or spot. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having a spot or wrinkle, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth even as the Lord the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she revereth her husband. Ephesians 5, verse 23 to 33. Therefore, the transformation of a wife lies in the hands of a husband. If you really desire a glorious wife without a spot or wrinkle, holy and pure, then love your wife as your own body. By doing so, you will have created a glorious wife. To have a great home, love is the price you pay. This love must be without hypocrisy. Instead, this love sees the good even while assessing a wrong situation. Men, if you want a wife that follows your leadership, you must be a super duper loving husband. In all honesty, it is the fastest way to win your wife. Once a man gets to love his wife as much as Christ loves the church, the devil is closed off from accessing his home. Number two, communication. All the other points hold grip in the first, which is love. Love is expressed in communication. Without communication, there is no love. This is what we call seasoned communication. Ephesians 5 verse 26 says, To sanctify her, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. As men, we are expected to cleanse our wives by the washing of water by the word. That implies that every word of your mouth must be seasoned with salt, giving grace to the hearer. Colossians 4 verse 6 Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Love must be behind every observation you make. Even when you correct, instruct, or rebuke your wife, it should be love motivated. The roots of every speech you utter must be in love. At no time should any unwholesome words proceed out of your mouth to your wife or your children. That way, you will present her to your own self as a glorious bride, not having a wrinkle. Likewise, ye husbands, 
dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Husbands are under an obligation to honor their wives as heirs together of the grace of life. This obviously removes actions like beating, humiliating, or maltreating the woman. God expects you to deal with your wife according to knowledge. The knowledge of the truth will help you, such that even if your wife has a terrible character, through the application of the knowledge of truth, you can change her. It is the man's responsibility to be involved in his wife's affairs. Some husbands clearly see something's wrong in the home and yet pretend that all is well. God will take control, they say, but that is not right. God has given man a leadership position of a home. Have you ever seen a driver taking his hands off his steering wheel and saying, God, take control, I'm tired. If he does, an accident is inevitable. God has given you control as the head of the home. Be a smart driver, otherwise that family is heading for an accident. For instance, if you notice your wife is downcast, you should ask her what the matter is. You must not open up your home to malice or discord. You can prevail over them all by knowledge. Number three, giving. Giving is a practical expression of love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16. One of the ways a husband should express his love for his wife is by giving. A husband should willingly and joyfully give gifts to his wife. The quantity is not the issue here. We are all at different levels in life. The husband must accept his responsibility by happily giving his wife gifts. That is what counts. Some men shy away from their responsibilities and don't give their wives anything. This is done under the guise of the modern world that their wives are working. This does not change the facet that the man must seek to give. The scripture says, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worse than infidel. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 8 It is the man's responsibility to provide for the home, even if she makes income or not. When a man inherently stops looking after his household, it has a spiritual significance as his life. That man's life becomes worse than that of an unbeliever. God says that he has denied the faith and will suffer the same fate as unbelievers. You must be concerned about your wife and your children's welfare. Some husbands leave their homes without any concern whether their family members have eaten or not. This behavior is a significant violation of the covenant obligations. No man has a right to wear new clothes if his family is going out in rags. You should set aside some resources from whatever you earn to cater for the personal needs of your household. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. Proverbs 13 verse 22. You should have a monthly percentage for everyone in your household. Even your children should have their own personal accounts. You must side with the word of God, not the world. 
apart from your wife's income, you have to set a percentage of your earnings for her. Remember that. It is not how much that matters, but accepting your responsibility and doing it joyfully. Where you are now is a good enough place to start from. Life is in phases. Your wife should have access to everything you own. In fact, all that is yours is hers. You must love her with all your being. Everything that concerns her welfare must also be a concern to you. This will give you the heart to love your family. You must love your wife in deeds and not only in words. Why, you may ask? Because God expects you to nourish her as you would nourish your own self. We pray that God will strengthen you to have love more and more. I know the world tells you love is a cake, but you must stick to your family in more love than the world thinks possible. This is a Grace Digital presentation. We got a lot of feedback on the Marriage Covenant video. So we would like to thank you for the support as we seek to establish the real truth of marriage. Please continue to support us and put us in your prayers. May God bless you all. Make sure you like and subscribe and also watch our other educational videos here.